But what I did last night, I wanted to wash my hair before I did my henna, henna treatment today. I spritzed my hair with this to detangle, which was pretty easy. Then I followed up with an oil and then I left it in for about an hour and a half. Washed it out with conditioner, followed up with an apple cider vinegar rinse and then I left my hair to dry. It's almost completely dry. It's about maybe 80% dry right now. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a henna treatment in my hair. And But I just wanted to come on now to show you what the results look like since I did the hibiscus tea rinse. And this is what the results are. Now remember, I already did a henna treatment before. So my hair does have a little bit of a red or slightly dark maroon. It already changed color. So... <laughs> Uh, but I feel as though the hibiscus gave it a little bit of a tint. Now, I don't think this is permanent, the red tint, so it's a slightly temporary, I believe. Uh, the other thing too, when you're using it, it's going to stain. It will stain using this, will stain your hands, but it washed out very easily in the shower when I was conditioning my hair. But this is what it looks like, the hibiscus. I will show you a better picture as well of what the hibiscus leaves look like. So Apparently, there are two types of hibiscus powders, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about it now. So this is what the hibiscus tea looks like in the end, also known as sorrel tea, as far as I know. So I ground some of the sorrel leaves, the flowers that I had, and this is what it looked like. Usually when I, sometimes when I see videos on YouTube, this is the hibiscus powder that I see. This vibrant red hibiscus powder. But this, this powder is associated with so, what I know as sorrel, this deep, rich red. Ever since I decided to try this one year Ayurveda challenge, I've been hearing so much about hibiscus, hibiscus powder, and this is what I know as hibiscus flowers. This is what I know it as, okay? Not what I was showing you before, which I know as sorrel. This is what I know as hibiscus growing up in Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. So when I purchased hibiscus powder in China, this is what I got. So the flowers that you saw on the packaging, this is the powder it produces. The color is not vibrant. It's not rich. It's not bright red. So I was trying to figure out what's going on. So that's when I realized or found out that hibiscus, it's just Two different types of hibiscus by two different names and it seems to be working anyways for our hair. So it doesn't really seem to matter which one you use. They both have very rich benefits for your hair. This is what I know as sorrel but it's also known as hibiscus. So they both have great benefits for your hair. Uh, this one you can actually drink as a tea. I also used to drink hibiscus flowers as a tea as well. They're both called hibiscus. Sorrel, which I, what I know as sorrel, that's called hibiscus as well. So it can be, it was a little bit confusing to me, but they're both used for hair and they're both beneficial for hair, which is just amazing. This one, if you drink it as tea, I drink it just in a tea form. This one, it's very tart very acidic and it's rich in vitamin c which is usually what we want for our hair too our hair needs vitamin c as well for its growth it's not a bad idea to use this as a use this in your hair so i'm going to show you now how i make the hibiscus tea with the sorrel i know someone's going to ask me if i can i use the powdered form of the for the hibiscus tea yes you can use the powder someone's still going to ask me in the comments below Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to use the hibiscus, the whole hibiscus. Well, sorrel. This is also known as hibiscus, but I'm using sorrel. Also known as hibiscus <laughs> to make the tea. So I'm just going to add it to my glass and then add my hot water. Measurements are in the description box below. And I will cover this and leave it to steep overnight for at least 12 hours. Or you can leave it up to a day for 24 hours to steep. Add it to 
your spritz bottle and then you can use it in your hair hibiscus tea it is great for strengthening your hair growth it reduces shedding it reduces dandruff it actually gives your hair um some deep red undertones it helps with conditioning your hair it actually reduces scalp irritations and uh, increases shine natural shine to your hair as well so this is something that you would use in your hair and but how would you use it you can also apply it to dry hair leave it on your hair for an hour and a half and then wash it out how long would this last it lasts about a week and a half because it's a natural ingredient it would not last that long within the fridge of course you can freeze it as well so I want to know from you, do you use hibiscus tea in your hair? How do you use it? And what improvements have you seen in your hair so far? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to share this video with your friends, your family, in hair forums. So that this liquid actually will get redder and redder as the hours go by. That's what it looks like so far. See you all in the next one. Ciao!